When I'm building guitars, one of my favorite solvents to use for cleaning up uh, dirty fretboards or removing adhesive left over from masking tape and double-sided sticky tape is naphtha. And naphtha is typically available in your local hardware stores and it's usually packaged in uh, containers and labeled VM&P naphtha. And VM&P stands for Varnish Makers and Painters. And those guys use it to mix in with um, oil-based stains and paints to thin them out to a consistency that works well for them. They also use it to clean rags as well as clean brushes. And the nice thing about naphtha is it evaporates super fast. So you apply it, remove uh, whatever uh, dirty mess you're trying to remove from the surface of your guitar and the stuff flashes off and is gone right away. It also, when you mix it in with stains and paints, uh, oil-based stains and paints, they will uh, dry much, much faster. So um, that's one of the reasons why I like to use naphtha so much. However, when you go to the hardware store to purchase naphtha or your paint store, uh, you'll notice that the stuff is fairly expensive. I mean, when you consider what you're paying for the amount that you're getting, it seems kind of high. And if you're looking for an alternative that's much more affordable, Consider charcoal lighter fluid. Uh, charcoal lighter fluid is typically available in 32 to 64 ounce containers and is often available at your local grocery store and uh, your local convenience store. So you can pick up a big bottle of this stuff for a pretty cheap price. And even though it's not exactly the same as naphtha, it's similar enough and it performs pretty much in the same way. So um, as an all inexpensive alternative to naphtha, consider getting some charcoal lighter fluid and use that for cleaning up those dirty fretboards and to remove some of the uh, uh, adhesive that's left over from uh, tape that you may be using when masking your guitar. So uh, that's this week's quick tip. Take care and we will see you in the next episode of Quick Tips as well as uh, hopefully the next episode of From the Luthier's Workbench. Um, until then, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you don't already so that you can be made aware of when new quick tips and new episodes of From the Luthier's Workbench are posted. So again, take care and we'll see you soon.